Almost. Thanks, Carrie. Seconder. Carrie Lynn. I'll second it, Melba. Anybody opposed? Hearing none. Motion is carried. So moving on to the finance minutes, you will see that they were attached to the agenda. Any questions in regards to, or do I have a mover to accept the finance minutes from October 4th? Do I have a mover? I'll move Melba. Move by Audrey, seconded by Melba. All in favor? Anybody opposed? Hearing none, the minutes are carried. Okay, so our first recommendation Go ahead, Wendy. So did Melba second that motion on the minutes? Yes. Oh, she so, was in attendance. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. sorry. I made a mistake. No, I, I just be there. Sorry. Yeah, I just caught it because I wasn't there either. So yep. Good catch. Thanks, Wendy. So it's moved by Audrey. I do need someone to second who was present. Um Sherry Lynn, did you have your hand up? Yeah, okay, so move or seconded by Sherry Lynn. Does anybody oppose to the carrying of the minutes from last finance meeting? Hearing none, motion is carried. Thanks for that. Okay, let's move into our first recommendation. So I'll move it over to uh, Audrey. Audrey, can you unmute please? I'd love to. Morning everybody. Moved by Audrey Paulus Bombery and seconded by Hazel Johnson, whereas the Six Nations of the Grand River Elected Council has approved that a funding application be made to the Investing in Canada Infrastructure Program, Green Stream for Wastewater Lagoons, Forest Main, Forest Main Construction, and committed to contributing 6.67% of the total el eligible cost should be application be approved. Whereas the Six Nations of the Grand River Electric Council approved to execute the transfer payment agreement with the Ministry of Infrastructure for investing in Canada Infrastructure Program Green Stream for wastewater lagoons forest main construction. Therefore, be it resolved that the Building and Infrastructure Committee recommends that the Six Nations of the Grand River Electric Council approves to award the twinning of the forest main from fourth line to the lagoon projects to ACON Six Nations joint venture in the amount of $714,925. Source of the funds identified as a combination of $697,125 from Canada, $175,377.35 from Ontario, and $61,000. $997.65 from the Six Nations Public Works 2021-22 O&M budget. I so move. And Hazel, do you still second? I know Hazel Ron. Yeah, I'm on. Okay. Second. Thank you. Okay. Um, we have it moved and seconded. Questions? Go ahead, Wendy. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not necessarily opposed to it. It just doesn't make sense the way that it's written. So when I, so should it be in past tense? So did we? So I take it we got the funding. That's what it's saying, because it says council has approved that funding application being made, which means it's in the present that we're just now applying. And then as you read through it, we've got the funding. So should it be that council approved the funding application and we were successful in obtaining the funding and then move on to the next piece of it? Because it seems like we're, we're, we've, we've approved that it be applied and now we're spending the money. So at some point we should have, you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm gonna have the Director of Public Works, Mike, can you speak to this, please? Good morning, Council. Good morning, everybody. Um, so just, so yeah, I just want to demonstrate that we had already uh, committed to the funds and 
that we're awarding to the contractor. So I can revise uh, if it's if it's cleaner to do so. Um, so so you're saying you're looking for how what kind of wording you're looking for or changes? <laughs> so I, I'm just maybe I'm interpreting it wrong. So it the way that it reads so just clarify for me. So we approve the application for funding. We haven't received a response on that funding application yet, or we have? We have, it's been approved. So we're now we're awarding the contract to a contractor. So yeah, so we have to change the tense because it's already happened, right? Okay. So, so, the, so if you're doing the whereas, we approve the application, which was successful. So that's a, in the past we are awarded X number of dollars. Next, whereas is that we've, you know, we've now entered into an agreement and we're approving the transfer payment and then you're awarding the actual job to someone. Okay. Is that, what, right. is that what this is trying to say? Yeah, this is what, the, that's what this is trying to say. We're just, I'm just trying to demonstrate that we've already, you know, committed to it. We've set the money aside in the budget and now we're awarding the contract. So my apologies for being, a little too too wordy, I guess, in this one. It's just the tense because it seems like we're just now approving the, the application and it's way gone by, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. Other questions? Hearing none, we'll go to a vote. All in favor? Favor. With those changes, does anybody oppose? Hearing none, the motion has been passed with those um, amendments. Uh, waiving second reading. Audrey moves and Hazel. Thank you. Um, all in favor? Anybody opposed? Hearing none, waiving a second reading is passed. Okay, let's move on to recommendation number two. Moved by Audrey Paulus Monbury, second by Hazel Johnson, whereas the Six Nations of the Grand River Electric Council approved to award the Fifth Line Road Repairs Project to Walker Construction Limited at an upset limit of $379,992. Therefore, be it resolved that the Building and Infrastructure Committee recommends to the Six Nations of the Grand River Electric Council to approve change order number one for Fifth Line Road Repairs Project in the amount of $10,800. $68.53 to account for final quantities as measures in the field, which increases Walker Construction Limited contract value to $390,860.53. Source of the funds identified as a combination to 2021-2022 minor capital and 2021-22 MTO funds. So move. A second, Hazel. Okay, is there any questions? Go ahead, Councilor Johnson. So what what is the change order for? I, I have such an issue with change orders. <laughs> like we, we have to figure out, and this is not just public works, but we have to figure out how to do contracts and lock people into contracts without always doing these change orders because we have no control over spending that way. Um, is this a post approval because that road's already done, right? Or are we doing more repairs, repairs on fifth line? Go ahead, Mike. So this contract's a unit price contract based on estimated quantities. And when the, the quantities are, when they're completed the work, they, act, they measure the actual quantities. Um, and then they, they bill based on that, based on their unit prices. But I, I can turn it over to Vince who can provide more, I guess, technical aspects to this as he, he managed the project. Yeah, um, what happened there is the uh, when we do service treatment, we measure it. It's measured out at a at a certain width of the road, and then as it settles in over the year, it pushes out a bit more than what was measured in the previous year. And it's usually between six and ten inches. And in this case, it was about eight eight inches wider than when we put it down last year. So when we measured this year, it added on, I believe it was like 3,000 square meters or so. 
But I, I thought that was already, ca this is the repair. So I thought we already did all of that, knowing that they're going to come in and fix it. All of mm -hmm. that was measured out and everything done. Vince, Mike? What, what we did was we took the measurement from um, last year's final. And then when, when, when we went to measure again this year, it was wider from, from the contract last year. Mike, can you elaborate? Yeah, and just to, I guess, elaborate on the, the change order and the whole process, I know that we're hopefully rounding the corner on our um, getting recommendations for our tendering policy to capture carrying a contingency in these projects and, and developing them right in so that, you know, small changes like this, yeah, this is this is part of the industry as far as road resurfacing just because of the, the nature of the work with the estimate to the actual. So, uh, in the future, these won't these won't need to be coming to council because they're it's you know they're they're small and uh, they'll be built with it right within those those um, contracts and and that procedure. I don't think that answered Wendy's question. <clears throat> I'm fine. I'm not going to bela belabor it. Okay, Councilor Miller. Yeah, the way I'm I'm understanding it, the 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 estimate the cost was based on estimate, and today we're looking at the actual. That's what I'm understanding. Because, like Bit said, the cost was estimated last year on what it had cost to do it before. And when they had to repave it, it was the actual cost because, like he said, it stretched and got wider than what it was the first time. Because this is a second repaving, if you remember. Because that had already been done. Or not repaved, it's not paved, it's chipped and tarred, I guess. But so that's the way I'm looking at it. It's that we based it based our decision on estimates, and now we're looking at the actuals. How I see it is the road should have been measured. We should have had up to date measurements, which would then have told us the actual costs. And that's what we agreed to. Done. And that's okay. what, that wasn't do that. Done. And so here we go again. And that's they can't do the actuals until it's done. Yeah. <laughs> they can't do the actual cost until the work is done. Um, I would disagree. Go ahead, Wendy. Yeah, that wasn't the point I was making. It was actually that uh, because we dealt with this this year in doing the repairs, I would think we would, you know, work out the costing ba based on the measurements this year, not on last year. So that was the only point I was making, and that would have taken care of this this change in pricing. Okay, so with that, we've had some discussion. It's still moved and seconded. Um, is there other questions? Hearing none, we'll go to a vote. All in favor? <clears throat> Does anybody oppose? Seeing none, motion is carried. Wave second reading. Moved by Audrey. Second by Hazel. Um, all in favor? Anybody oppose? Motion is carried. So with that, there is no other agenda items for today. I need someone to motion to adjourn to in camera. Moved by Sherry Lynn, second by Wendy. All in favor? Anybody oppose? Okay. Thank you, everybody. Take care, community. And uh, we will be back, I think, next Tuesday night in general council.